Hello, this is Mark Sadler of Best CAD Tips. Today's tip is a Revit tip. How to turn off or hide the grid lines and the level lines in a linked Revit model, such as a structural model. Now here you see the architectural ceiling plan, but I have a structural model linked in with this. First thing I'm going to do is create a new view so that you can see the problem that we're trying to solve. I'm going to cut a section view through this model. Then I'm going to go to that view. And you see here there are two sets of grid lines. One set is in my architectural model. The other set is being linked in from the structural model. You can also see that there are duplicated level lines. The ones with the capital letters are coming in from the uh, linked model, and the ones with the upper lower case are in my architectural model. So this obviously doesn't look very good, and it makes the drawing hard to read, and it's uh, fairly easy to turn off these uh, linked grid lines and level lines once you know where to go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open Visibility Graphics. Now I can do that by typing VG or I can go to the Properties box and push the button for Visibility Graphics Edit. That opens up the Visibility Graphics Overrides table. Over to the far right you'll see a tab called Revit Links. I'm going to click on that and the model that's linked is this uh, structural model. Now the display settings by default are by host view, but I can click on that button and I get another window called Revit Link Display Settings. Now again, the default setting on this is by host view, but the first thing I'm going to change is I'm going to click the radio button for custom. That ungrays the setting button so that I can uh, change them. But the button for the grid lines and level lines is in annotation categories. So I'm going to go to the tab at the top for annotation categories and click on that. That takes me to this list of annotation categories and you'll see that they're all grayed out. But there's a selector button at the top and by default it's set on by host view. I'm going to pull that down and click custom. Now all the settings are ungrayed and I can edit them as I would like to. So I'm going to slide down with the slider to where I can see grids and levels. Now you can see that there's a check mark next to grids and levels and since those are checked by default they're going to be visible. But if I uncheck grids and uncheck levels that's going to hide the grids and the level lines coming in on the linked model. So now all I have to do is go down to the bottom right and hit apply and OK and then back to the main window hit apply and OK and as you can see the grid lines coming in from the linked model are now hidden and the level lines coming in from the linked model are now hidden. So that's the Revit tip for the day. Until next time, this is Mark Sadler of Best CAD Tips. Come back soon and keep on CADing.